All right, what's going on dudes and welcome to episode 2 of Pokemon Heart Gold. At this point, I think it would probably be a good idea to actually go ahead and do some quick leveling up for Bro, or as I actually should have named him in retrospect, Brotodile. Let's actually permanently enable sprinting as well. Um, provided there's a name raider in this game, we should be able to adjust his name later on. So, there's always that. It's not the end of the world. So I guess we'll try out some um, some good old scratch, 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 and more scratch combos. <laughs> and of course, the wild Pokemon are always gonna beat us in speed, apparently. It's alright. Own him up. Ah, oh, critical hit! Yeah! <laughs> Sweet. And level six. Aw, snap. Ooh, and I learned water gun. How nice. All right, let's 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 try to get to level seven here. I don't know whether or not that's trainer in the, uh, the bug catcher outfit. So we'll see. Now only level two. Let's put our water gun to the test. Why not? That was pretty good. Lowered him below half. Although he is a level two. <laughs> There's that. All right, let's water gun again. And gets owned. <laughs> Sweet. All right, hopefully we can run into something a little higher than level two so that I can get up to seven after the next battle. And in the future, when battles become far more tedious, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and, and fast forward. But for now, while we're getting a couple initial levels, I will simply go ahead and broadcast all of it. Alright. Keep water gunning you. And one more. Gets owned. <laughs> I always fear that there's one pixel left that I, I, I can't see. All right, let's find one more. I, I swear in my experience in all the Pokemon games, I always think I've killed someone. And then, oh, there's one pixel left on the health bar that I didn't see. Yep. Alright, we'll get to level 7 after this one. So, yeah. And then, uh, perhaps we'll heal him up? I don't know. It's what to have. Totally depends on what we will be. Oh, really? You're that? Ah. Damn you. It all depends on um, what we'll be encountering. I'll probably go back to the Pokemon Center after and, and heal him up, bro. Good job, bro. Level seven. What a champ. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the Pokemon Center. Heal him up and then keep heading north. On our road to greatness. Yes, I would. All right, let us perhaps encounter some trainers. I can't recall if they ever show up this early. Seems like you always have a rival fight. Nope. Oh. We're gonna run this time. Maybe I should catch one. If only I, I don't have Pokeballs. Derp. Derpity derp. Let's run. Let's run away. I need my max for Pels. Are you? Okay, you're not a trainer. So what's up? Oh, you're wearing the running shoes. They make you feel like you're flying, don't they? But beware of wild Pokemon and trainers. When you run, the noise will attract them. Oh, crap. I hit it again. 
I hate it when I do that. Like when someone has just a super long speech, let's see what's up in here. And you just keep hitting A over and over and over and then you have to go through it again. <laughs> you accidentally hit it one too many times. People usually come to my house looking for Mr. Pokemon's house. You didn't mean to visit my house, right? How kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? I like an apricot plus corn and one. Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. I have one of the trees too. Apricorns are really something. You can make pokeballs and other things are useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be, so I'm gonna give you an apricorn box. Okay. <laughs> you can carry lots of ap apricorns. There we go again. Accidentally hit the A button one too many times. Yeah. Oh, is that an apricorn tree? Oh, it's an apricorn tree. <gasps> hmm. It's a gurn. <laughs> it's a gurn apricorn. Yeah, yeah. All right. What are we doing here? Anything? Are we doing anything? Apparently not. Because, oh, derp. There we go. Found an antidote. Works for me. You aren't a trainer either, I presume. <laughs> when you have no pee pee, you cannot use that move. <laughs> Let's see, what are you guys doing? Oh, you guys are... You guys are owning each other up. <laughs> gotcha. I won't bother you then. <gasps> Run! <laughs> Wild Rattata appeared. Go, bro! Toe dial. It's okay, we're gonna run. Damn it! Where's my max repel when I need it? <laughs> uh, the joys of the beginning of a Pokemon game. Run away. Run away. It's okay. We're not in a cave. We don't have to worry about Zubat. Not yet. <laughs> oh, Zubat. Oh, what's up in here? You must be Brosifo. Why, that I am. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Okay. What is up, old man? This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Brosifer obtained the mist. Why are you giving it to me and not the super educated professor? Okay, just give it to me. A friend of mine from Ekrutique gave it to me. I bet you can't find this in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell it. Then give it to him. He's the best when it comes to research. Okay, just give it to me. Whatever. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. Oh, it's it's all good. I was I was friends with Professor Oak, you know. No big deal. Are you, you are returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. I like how you have the power to rest my Pokemon, but I can't do it myself. You guys are slow walkers. Professor Oak, and with that... I'm Professor Oak, so you're- Oh, this is Professor Oak, not Elm. So you're Brosifer. I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh wait, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see, you must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat it with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. I received the Pokedex. Oh, hooray. Go meet lots of Pokemon, but I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual podcast. Right, so far, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we will meet. Let's exchange numbers. Oh, it's yeah, another pedophile. <laughs> oh, let's exchange. I'd love to. I'd love to keep tabs on you, Professor Oak. You're so famous and all. Are we good? Oh, I guess we're good. Um, right. Oh, I have a phone call. Ha Hello, Brosifer. It's, it's a disaster. <gasps> it's just terrible. What should I do with... Oh, no, please get back here now. Click. Oh, jeez. 
You could at least tell me what's going on. Instead of... Darn it. <laughs> Keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. So... Oh! It's an apricorn. I love apricorns. Actually, I like apricots more. It's a pink... Pink... They have no vowels. It's a pink apricorn. <laughs> I guess I need cut to get here. Alright. Of course, in the two squares... Uh, run away! I don't want to have anything to do with you. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Alright. Darn it! Darn you! I'm actually kind of unfamiliar with a lot of the uh, second generation Pokemon. So, there's that. I know the starters, obviously. But, actually, sort of when I stopped doing the whole Pokemon card collecting thing was right around when the second gen stuff really hit. And uh, I remember I got like a couple packs of the second gen stuff and that was right around the time I, I was sort of like, eh, whatever, whatever. And then I lost sort of interest in the whole card collecting. But the games, well, those have always been fun. You know. So I guess we're going back to Newbark at this point. What? Who are you? You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp. Oh, you're... Are you going to be my rival? Oh, you're a douchebag. Yes, you're totally going to be my rival. Don't get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. You're going to have a sin... What is it? See, I... As I, as I say, I'm not a Chikorita. <laughs> you were challenged by Passerby Boy. I'm sorry, but you're a douche, so I'm gonna have to tear you apart. Not with Water Gun, though, because that would be weak. Alright. Let's take out the trash. You know, I never, in all my Pokemon experience, ever learned to rely on attack slash defense, raising and or lowering for the opponent attacks. I don't know, let's use one. <laughs> I just, I've always been one to attack. Always. Just never, never do any of the, like, stat upping things. I was always just head on, pwn some noobs. All day. Every day. Are you just going to keep using Growl and make my attack worthless? Or are you then going to hit me with an Earth attack and destroy me? God darn it. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than getting killed. Huh, you're doing okay for someone weak. I got to think of a good voice. Oh, I'm going to test out. I know Water Gun's going to be really ineffective, but why not? I actually... See, my strategy has always been just level up my starter a crap ton, then get the legendary and use those two to ruckus the Elite Four. It's always been my Pokemon strategy. But I realize... Actually, I don't know. This would be a good point to ask what's the general... Um, the general, uh, I guess, view on legendaries is at this point. Whether or not you guys are like, eh, don't. Let my game freeze. Damn it! Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Emulator malfunction, that's wonderful. We'll be back in just a second after we get rid of these technical difficulties. And we're back. <laughs> and killing Chikorita. Wonderful stuff. All right. Whew. Huh, are you happy you won? Yeah, I got 500 bucks, bro. Actually, you're not a bro, you're a douche. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Not if I can help it. What? What's wrong with you? Give it back! That's my trainer card! Oh no, you saw my name. Did I? 
<laughs> I'm just gonna nickname you douchebag, so it's all good. Okay. I didn't actually see your name, but whatever. Whatever. I guess we don't have any trainers yet. But uh, yeah, I need to learn the whole cycle of um, of weaknesses and and strengths because I never actually bothered to do that. As I said before, those technical difficulties, my my whole strategy was always just take the starter, level him up a crap ton. Don't e don't even really worry about the other ones that I, I catch along the way, with the exception of maybe one as sort of a, a sidekick. And you're a police officer. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll get back to my tangents in just a second. Who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it. Nope, I didn't steal anything. Oh, obviously my rival is a thief. What a doucher. <laughs> Hold on a second, he has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the... Yep. God, oh, what a douchebag. <laughs> What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Oh, yes. <laughs> Here we go. We get to name my rival. What shall we name him? The Anti Bro? Seems like Douchebag is just too straight up. Since that we're going with the Bro theme here, I'm going to go ahead and name you the Anti Bro. Yep. Anti. But I'll probably just end up calling you Douchebag throughout the entire game so anti bro douchebag kind of the same person I see anti bro was his name yes <laughs> thanks for helping my investigation no problem officer my next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual this so-called anti bro <laughs> Brocifer, I'm glad they understand you are innocent see you later your pigtails are sexy. Brocifer, this is terrible. Oh, yes? What was Mr. Pokemon's big dis- blah. Big discard- Okay, so I am giving it to you. Huh? This is an egg. This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secrets it holds. I'll keep it to find out stuff. What? He gave you a Pokedex. Is that true? That's incredible. He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Brocifer, I knew you were a little bit different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge, blah, go to the Pokemon League, or no, oh, don't you worry, I'm going to do all that. Um, challenging the gyms, long journey, talk to your mom again, yup, yup, that's her motherly duty. Okay. So let's go talk to mom. What can I do for you? I know, every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. Oh, you're such a mom. <laughs> money is important. Do you want me to save your money? Sure, I love saving money. Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. With them at your side, you can accomplish anything. Let's do this thing. I guess we're officially on our journey now. All right. Works for me. Sounds like sounds like a plan. It also sounds like a good place to call it for the second episode. So, hope you guys have enjoyed and it'll probably be a few days before the next one while I am at the Call of Duty event thing. So, on that note, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.